everyone, it's Miss Carol, and we're on week eight of our Sunday School lessons. This week's theme is Receiving God's Grace, and our scripture th for the week is from Genesis 12, 1 through 9. Now, you remember Genesis is the first book of the Bible, remember? Okay, so if you're ready, I'm going to read that. Genesis 12, 1 through 9. And if you're able to grab your, grab your Bibles and follow along with me, that would be fantastic. So here we go. The Lord had said to Abram, Go from your country, your people, and your father's household to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you, I will curse, and all the peoples on earth will be blessed through you. So Abram went as the Lord had told him, and Lot went with him. Abram was 75 years old when he set out for Haran. He took his wife Sarah, his nephew Lot, all the possessions they had accumulated, and the people they had acquired in Haran, and they set out for the land of Canaan, and they arrived there. Abram traveled through the land as far as the site of the great tree of Morah at Shechem. At that time, the Canaanites were in the land. The Lord appeared to Abram and said, To your offspring I will give this land. So he built an, offer, an altar there to the Lord who had appeared to him. From there he went on toward the hills east of Bethel and pitched his tent with Bethel on the west and Ai on the east. There he built an altar to the Lord and called on the name of the Lord. Then Abram set out and continued toward Negev. That was Genesis 12, 1 through 9. So our lesson today was for receiving God's grace. You've probably heard people talk about God's grace before, but do you really know what grace is? Now I know we talked about it in previous lessons, so I'm wondering if you remember what grace is. I will remind you again by telling you what grace is. I have to move my computer because I can't see. So what is grace? Do you really know what grace is? Here's an easy way to remember what grace means. Grace is given to us when God gives us something that we do not and cannot ever deserve. Let me give you an illustration. Let's think. Maybe let's do this. Imagine your mom said to you, hey, if you clean your room and help me shovel the snow outside, I'll give you five dollars. By saying this, your mom is telling you that if you clean your room and if you help shovel the snow, you will be deserving of a reward or a prize. The reward or the prize you will be deserving of will be, yes, the $5. But what if you don't clean your room and shovel the snow? You will not be deserving of that $5. Now, let's suppose that you did clean your room, well, mostly or sort of at least, but you definitely did not help your mom shovel the snow. Of course, you don't deserve the $5 because you didn't complete the tasks you were asked to complete. Did you know that we humans do the very same thing to God every day? God asks us to love him completely and trust him always and obey his commands every day. But so many days go by and well, we sort of loved him and we sort of obeyed him. Here's the good news. God knows that even though we try really hard to love him, completely and trust in him always and obey him every day, sometimes we fail. And in our eyes, we are not deserving of his grace. But that's just the thing. 
we could never be deserving of God's grace because if we deserved it, then it wouldn't be called grace. Grace is when God gives us something that we don't deserve. In our Bible passage today, we heard about Abram. This man left his home, his mom and dad, brothers and sisters, and set out on a journey with God. And God promised Abram that it, he would have a large family someday and a comfortable house with lots of land and lots of sheep to care for. What did Abram do to deserve such a, a great gift from God? Nothing. You know why? When God made this promise with Abram, he was showing Abram grace. God shows us grace every day, boys and girls, doesn't he? You know, and I always say to you that God is with you every second, every minute, every hour of every day. And he loves you so much. So I hope that you'll remember that. And I hope that you're praying to God every day and talking to him and, and obeying and doing the things that God would want you to do. And you know that Easter is this Sunday. So today is Thursday. Tomorrow is Good Friday. Do you remember what happens on Good Friday? Yes, you do. Yes, Jesus died on the cross. He was crucified and he died to save us from all our sins. And then on Sunday, what happens? Yes, he rises again. So it's such a beautiful day and such a glorious day that I hope you remember the true meaning of Easter. And as I always say to you, boys and girls, until the next time, blessings to you all. I miss you.